What's up, cousins? Welcome back to the channel. How are y'all today? I got a question for y'all. Are you managing your money or is your money managing you? So a lot of Americans are stressed out, bills up to here. So I thought, because I'm looking at ways that I can better save money, build my savings back up. Most of you know that um, my savings was depleted a little while ago when my husband's truck broke down. Not this time when it broke down, but previously when it broke down, I del everything pretty much was gone out of it. And I have not been able to really get that thing back up and going. So I've been restructuring like many of these um, people out here who are filing for bankruptcy, like um, Right Aid and CVS and all these um, other companies that are restructuring. And I'm not filing for bankruptcy. No, but there are ways that you can start to restructure. So that's what I'm working on. And I thought, well, since I'm looking at this, I might as well share it and let's read over it together and see if we can help each other and give each other tips and ideas of things that we can do um, to get that savings back up. Because I look at my preps as insurance, my food preps, medication, all of that stuff. That's insurance for if I, it well if my husband can't work or we get sick, I get sick, you know, whatever happens in the world, pandemic wise or whatever, we have at least food in here. And the only thing we have to worry about is bills, but having food is not enough. You got to have some funds. So whether you're having funds in the bank or you're keeping your money, you know, out of the bank because of the situations that's happening with the banks, whatever it is, we need to figure out what we can do to better ourselves down the road and also not be so stressed out. You know, you want to live life and be happy in it and worrying about how you're going to pay a bill is not the best way to go about it. So I thought, well, if I'm looking for ways to work my situation, maybe other people are looking for ways to work there. So let's work it together. I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> Let me get it together. I'm going to share my screen. Um, can y'all see that? Let me slide over. Okay. So let's go over the six things that we can do. Um, and I'm reading this in real time with y'all. So some basics. So y'all, let's get to the basics. We're going to skip that. Six best ways to build your savings account. It says, whatever the Federal Reserve has in store for you in 2024, it's always good to have a savings or emergency fund you can rely on. It's recommended that you have at least three to six months worth of expenses covered in at least one of your savings account. And I had that. I had at least five months, maybe four months together but if you know anything about big rig trucks those parts are more expensive than a regular vehicle and that thing just wiped me out so i'm trying to build that back up so number one it says avoid impulse buying and stick to your budget Sticking to your budget may seem more easily said than done, but impulse buying is one big culprit in tipping the scales from savings, from saving to spending. Before going to a store, write out a specific list of items you need. If you see something you want to buy that is not on the list, do not put it in your cart. Here are some signs that what you're about to purchase is an impulse buy. Now, let me know in the comments, do y'all experience that when you know you have that list? Because I know I've taken y'all with me, some of y'all into the store with me and I had a list and occasionally I put other things in there that's not on my list, but it's something that I need as far as food wise. So I don't know if that's gonna apply to that, but I'm gonna have to be really frugal, I guess. So it says, here's some examples. 
If you are shopping for retail therapy and trying to elevate your mood by buying something you don't need, don't do it. You found a really good deal that makes you feel like you're saving money instead of spending it on something that wasn't in your budget. Didn't I just get through saying that? Don't do it. <laughs> so many ads prey on your fear of missing out or that items will be sold out before you can buy them. Remember that this is a play and supply and demand will always factor in. Uh, if you are always planning for the worst case scenario, then you may have developed a tendency to stockpile or even hoard. Listen, I'm going to prep my supplies so they can skip me on that one. Um, now they're saying you may over, you may overestimate how much you use a product. So you consistently buy it and it either sits in your closet or goes to waste. I don't have that issue. Number two is don't pay someone else for DIY. But what if you don't know how to do it? It says, there will always be a reason you need to outsource expert technicians for issues such as plumbing, roof repair. However, you may be selling your, your own self short by not first trying it yourself. More manageable projects by yourself. A DIY project can put money you were going to give to someone else right back in your bank account. Now, that is true. That part is true. Number three, it says buy generic instead of name brand. And I have this discussion a lot, or I see this discussion going on in some of my comments about, you know, I don't want no generic, <laughs> no generic food. I want the name brand. Well, you know, the price of food and other things have gone up. So some things I do, I will just get a generic brand for. The only thing I won't get a generic brand for is like if I'm baking and I need the um, cream cheese and stuff, I do not like the generic because it does not blend well. So it says, don't get suckered into buying something just because that brand has more of a marketing budget. Most generic brand items, especially when it comes to grocery items, are nearly identical in make and ingredients to their more expensive name brand counterparts. Making the simple switch can save you hundreds of dollars a year, which is a smart money move to make toward your saving goal. The only other thing with that is the price of goods have gone up so much. Some of the generic stuff, it's, it's almost the same price, if not the same price as the name brand now. So if it's the same price, I'm going to get the name brand, period. It says go green to save green. That's number four. Did I do number three? Yeah. Number four. One nice thing about making better choices for the environment is that it can also save you tons of utility bills. Conserving your energy and cutting back on water usage can help um, pad your monthly savings. Developing new habits such as the following is a great way to start. To save money in the long run, you can update your or upgrade your appliances to newer versions that are more energy efficient. Uh, don't leave electronics plugged in when you aren't using them by energy efficient or LED light bulbs. They last longer. Uh, set your washing machine for cold water cycles for your laundry. I already do that. Turn off any lights you don't need or aren't using when you leave the room. I'm constantly flipping lights off, whether it's me or for anyone else in my home. Um, any air leaks or gaps should be sealed to better insulate your house and reduce wasteful or on air conditioning or heating costs. Another thing that I have started doing is turning my, cause I would just leave my thermostat where it is all day, all night. Now when I'm leaving, I'm more aware that I need to turn it down. So I turn it down and then I turn it back to where it needs to be at night. Cause at night it's a whole lot more colder than it is during the day. So that's one thing that I do. Um, plan out your meals weekly. Number five, planning out your meals per week not only keeps you from wasting money or eating out at restaurants, but also helps you keep 
to your budget at the grocery store, write out all the ingredients for the grocery list for every recipe you're planning and only buy those things. Having this strategy in place also keeps you from impulsively wasting money on takeout. Um, I have cut back on that for sure because it costs way too much. I've been doing a whole lot more cooking. Only thing with that is, you know, we use propane and so... I'm going to need to find some air fryer recipes and stuff because I'm going to have to not use that stove as much to cut back on having to always refill and refill the tank for um, the propane. And number six, it says make your money work for you. Saving money is important for a variety of reasons, but how you save it or even grow it may have more opportunities than you think. You may well, it says you want to ensure that the account you keep your money in is earning interest. Compound interest can multiply your money much faster than just storing dollars in a shoebox under your bed. Good tip. And another money tip here is research which bank offerings come with the highest APYs and keep your money in a high yield account. These could include a high yield savings account, money market account, or CD. I am going to check into money market, but I know that I do have um, where my money is. It is not just sitting there. It is, you know, it's earning something, even if it's pennies on the dollar. It's earning something. But y'all, we're just going to have to... Um, <sighs> This is stressing me out. <laughs> Stop. We're going to have to, you know, stick to what we say we're going to do. Do what we say we're going to do and watch our money grow. So let me know what you think down in the comments. What your, your tips and ideas on saving money and growing your savings in 2024 when the economy looks the way it looks. The prices on everything is it's just outrageous fuel prices have gone up my husband uses diesel of course for the big rig truck and he went to miami he went to kentucky you know he's been a whole lot of places lately and of course the the prices are different everywhere you go at these truck stops but none of them were cheap like he got gas one morning and it was uh four dollars and something and then by the end of the day, it was even higher. So I think they're trying to, well, he said he thinks they're trying to get the fuel up for diesel to at least five or six dollars on the East Coast because, you know, it's already high on the West Coast. And that means it's going to be higher for us because they both go together. So y'all, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. This was just something different and I thought I would try it out and see um, what y'all think. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Remember that I do love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you could be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Why? Because God is love. And that is what he will want you to do. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Time Bites TV and Homestead. Ah, uh -huh.